All right, boys, let's go, let's go, let's go, boys, let's go. No resting, players don't want to rest. Mr. Grin here, he's a Russian streamer, and Mr. Garklav is a Russian streamer too. The guys wanted a break because they're tired, and I feel them there. I definitely feel them there. I'm tired myself, but let's go. These guys have got endurance, man. They've got endurance. Let's go straight into game five. Game five is going to be hidden civilization free pick. No hunts, no Aztecs, no Mayans, and... None of the players is allowed to pick any of the civilizations from game 4, so no Goths, no Celts, and it ended up being a mirror war. It's gonna be Mongols war here. So once more, let's start by analyzing the maps. I'm right now on the point of view here of Mr. Vinchester playing with a blue color. He is playing on the south side of the map. You know, let's take a look at his map. It's uh, a horrible goal. It's, it's just uh, a ridiculous hold, an awful goal, an incredibly... Yeah, I don't want to use the word that came to mind now to describe this gold. So I'm just going to say it's a bad gold. It's a bad gold right there. He seems to have a nice wood patch, though, here at the back. That's going to be a little bit of a consolation. And it looks like the rest of the left side of his base is actually not too bad. He can just try to place a couple of walls here. Or if he feels like that's too far away, he can go for these ones right here. And that's going to be enough. Even though, no, that's not going to be enough. You would need to go for these ones right here or these ones right here. Uh, all the rest, considering that that gold is awful, the rest is not too bad. But still, on and all, that gold just just uh, it's just too horrible for him. Let's take a look at Mr. Yo Map. Whoa, he did something risky here. Only went for one house at the beginning. Gonna be making the second one now. What about Mr. Yo's map? Well, that gold is not too shabby either. It's not in a very good spot. There's no way you can place a TC in order to protect it at some point. I guess Yo as well has got a very nice wood uh, placement here. He can make a lumber camp right here. Looks to me like there's exactly what he's going with his villager. Yeah, here he goes. He's gonna be doing a lumber camp here. Eventually, I assume he's going to be placing a couple of palisades here, maybe walling it uh, straight to the TC to make sure that the right side of his base is going to be absolutely safe. But the left side of his base is going to be horrible too. It's going to be very hard to protect this gold here. I guess he will need to place the buildings here. Or if he wants to be really, really um, ambitious and aggressive, he might even place his building somewhere around here. But on an, all in all, looks like both looks to me like both players have got a rather bad map. First spore here on the way for Mr. Yo. He only put three villagers on wood, and many, many, many times that's an indication that players might be going for the scout rush. Mongols uh, have got actually all the options open to them. They can go for a scout rush, they can go for drush. Usually, well, uh, to be fair with you, I've, I've got the feeling that uh, a couple of years ago, or uh, only one, two years ago, players didn't really want to go for a drush with Mongols. That seems to be changing these days, and uh, it's not hard to understand why, because Mongols have got such an incredible Dark Age economy, and once more, if you guys are not very familiar with the Age of Empires mechanics, Mongols have got a very important bonus. Uh, they gather food faster than any other civilization from Hunt, and that's why you can see uh, Mr. Yo here concentrating on Hunt as rather as opposed to concentrating on sheep. He's sticking the boar first, he's sticking a deer, and apparently he's got a couple close to him. Yeah, he's going to lure in the second deer that's going to give him such an amazing boost, and I would assume with this amount of food he's going for, uh, I would assume this is going to be a very fast feudal from him, and eventually a scout rush. Let's wait to see. He's gonna go now for... Oh my god, that's a ridiculous boar. That's a very, very bad boar here for Mr. Yo. And apparently he's not doing loom. Is he really gonna go for that without loom? <laughs> he's gonna go for that without loom, boys. He's gonna go for it. Okay, okay. I hope for you that Vinchester... First of all, that Vinchester does not find you. Uh, he... Yeah, he got a downhill hit there. He's probably gonna get an uphill here. Yeah, that was an uphill, so it's good. He might get another downhill hit here. Yeah, but it's gonna be fine. He's gonna be fine. He didn't even need a sheep. So th these guys just know it so much better than me. Very close. Very close. So he's gonna save it. He's gonna save it. But that was risky. He only needed one blocking, one moment, one slight moment of blocking here by Vinchester and that villager would have been gone. Anyway, everything went fine. Let's go back to Vinchester's point of view. Vinchester with 18 population. He's not loading any deer. Does he even have them? That's the first question. Well, he does have them. And he, instead of going uh, for the berries, he went straight to that deer. I guess, I guess it's a good idea. I guess it's a good idea. Because these deer get uh, just get collected so fast that he might end up compensating for the other walk time that he needed to invest on those villagers in order to place down a mill right there. First player to click up to Feudal Age is Mr. Yo. He went for 20 population up. 
it's of course a very fast time uh, i've even seen faster of course but that just gives you a very bad economy so mr yo does not want to have that he wants to have a half decent economy it's gonna go for a second lumber camp here on the left side of his base i'm still missing a barracks i would assume he's gonna place it somewhere around here or here or he might try to place it here in order to defend uh that gold actually this might be a better position here because he can just use a couple of palisade from this side hopefully for him he's gonna end up seeing that hole there there it is you can see it and he was just able no, apparently he wasn't able to completely spot Vinchester here but he will be able to do that just in time he's gonna be able to see the barrier he's gonna be able to see a villager here making the barracks nope he just missed it as well but he saw the house, so he knows exactly where Vinchester is let's try to understand what is Vinchester going to do he went up with 21 population He's going for a barracks. He's got nobody on gold as far as I can tell yet yeah, nobody on gold So it's probably gonna be scout on scout action just like we saw in the hunt war He even went for something different than what I was suggesting he went for a barracks here So maybe uh, his option is gonna be to wall from there to there and at some point maybe try to wall the rest from uh, I'm not really sure what he could do maybe from there uh, th those would be ugly walls, but let's wait to see. Maybe he just won't even try to wall himself completely. Anyway, a stable is going to be placed here at the top of the hill. It's uh, the perfect spot, pretty much. Going to be giving him a little bit of a... Going to be a little bit of notice if there's any any units walking around here and trying to go for the gold. It's going to give him a little bit of a line of sight. What about Vinchester? He was able to reach Fetal Age just now. He's missing 1%. There it is. I would expect to see a stable at some point. There it is, the stable. These villagers are still working here on that deer. And look at that. This is why Mongols are just so overpowered. Look at the amount of food that Vinchester is going to have now. He just uh, did bid axe. He just did a horse collar. I can see it here at the top right side of my overlay. And that means that he's going to have so much wood for his scouts. The same thing applies for Mr. Yo, of course. He didn't win with a little bit. Uh, I guess he only went with uh, 20 populations. So he's going to have a worse economy than Vinchester had. But still pretty much enough to have a very decent amount of uh, scouts. And here we go. Mr. Yo, he does not shy away from the big walls. And he's indeed going to go for it. He's going to be trying to close it from here uh, to there. He is already just about to complete it. It's going to be doing the same thing here. And he's now going to be able to do that here on the left side as well so the only thing left open is going to be the front right side of his base and uh, that's not really going to be a problem for him to close a couple of palisades are going to do the job three scouts on the way here from mr vinchester i'm not sure where his initial one is apparently he just wants to concentrate them here on the right side it's a it's it's the it's of course the safest option he wants to protect the wood line at this point he does not want to invest in a spearman so he just wants to have his army resting there to make sure if any of your scouts come he will be ready to fight him off the fourth scout just finished of course being housed is not what players hope for was only a couple of seconds so not too horrible both players pretty much same economy stats by now it's 25 villagers for both the same amount of scouts one more for yo apparently none of them is going aggressive i guess yo is going to be the first one trying to do that it's five scouts from him and a spear just in case you're from vinchester i would assume that he actually does not need it but he wants to be extremely safe here it's going to be a five on five fight here with the advantage of a spear and with the advantage of the tc so there's nothing that you can do here he should just go back not even try to engage there there's nothing to win from that fight no hitch surprise that the walls are complete here. Mr. Yo is now completely walled. He did wall that part over there as well. So probably this will turn out to be a little bit of a booming game. And by going by these amazing and really big walls, what Yo did was he completely secured this goal right here. When it comes to Vinchester, the, that bad goal, that really awful goal is still there. I guess it could be an option, and I think that's what he's doing, and he's gonna go for this gold here. Of course, it's not optimal, because it's only four tiles of gold, but this one at least gives him the possibility of putting NTC in a good spot, and of course, it's gonna be very well protected. So I guess, all in all, this could be a nice gold spot, and if he gets to put a TC here, he might actually be able to collect from that stone at the same time. Anyway, he's gonna be trying to search here for a place where eventually he could try to go in, I would be very surprised if this time around Yo actually allowed himself to have a hole in his wall. I think this time around that is not going to happen.
you're just walking around and around with the scouts. Uh, maybe now that he knows the scouts of Inchester are somewhere else, he might be trying to go somewhere else. He might be trying to go to the gold to the wood line once more. Little does he know that there's two spearmen waiting for him, and I wouldn't wouldn't engage on that. Of course, he might he could actually win the fight, but it's just not cost effective to lose a couple of scouts for a couple of uh, cheap and pretty much useless for anything else spearmen. So, of course, he's not going to be going for that. Uh, Vinchester trying to cause Yo to react here in some way, uh, attacking a little bit the house there. He knows exactly there's not going to be a chance for him to actually go inside Yo's base. And Yo seems to be acknowledging the same. There's not much that he can do with those scouts. So, I guess uh, they might as well just use them to scout a little bit of the map. You can take a look here at Mr. Yo. He's doing pretty much that. He's got 65% of the map explored by now. Maybe he's going to be trying to do the same now. He's just going to be trying to support more, more and more. Trying to find extra golds. Trying to find the relics. Something that players uh, don't always have the time to do. But considering that there's not much going on at this point, that would be the right opportunity to do it. Benchester seems to be transitioning into archers. So he's playing this pretty much like a hunt's war. He's going to be transitioning uh, from scouts to archers. Let's try to understand what is Yo going to be doing. Apparently only a stable by now. He has just managed to click up to Castle Age. And left to be seen if he's going to invest his resources on archers or if he's going to invest them on knights or camels. Of course, Mongols have got both possibilities. They've got very strong knights, but they've got uh, they've got just uh, regular and good enough archers. So there's really both possibilities here for a Mongol player. As we just said and we just seen, Vinchester is going to go for those archers. I guess Mr. Yo, what is he going to go for? He's going to go for the knights. So he definitely needs to go for knights because Vinchester is going for archers. So going for camels is not an option. The only thing camels are good at is fighting knights. And since there's not going to be any knights from Vinchester, there's no point in going camels by Mr. Yo here. Bloodlines being done. At some point he will be trying to research the plus one armor at least. Of course he does not want to fight archers without at least the plus one armor. At some point he will try to do the plus two for sure. While at the same time Vinchester keeping, he keeps on doing archers and archers more and more and more. And uh, considering the way uh, Mr. Yo map is looking like, he might not really be very lucky. I guess the only spot where he could try to hit something would be here. And that's the only thing that's vulnerable at this point. I guess he could try to break through through here. Not, it's not even going to work because there are houses there. Apparently a scout, a little bit of a scout war is happening here at this point. This war means literally nothing for any of the players. Uh, it seems to be going out in favor of Vinchester. Vinchester won the fight with two scouts left. One of them as good as dead, the other one with good HP. But that's not really going to make a difference and Mr. Yo definitely doesn't care about that. Vinchester trying to venture himself with those archers, gonna make sure that he closes that gap once more. I think I just heard the plus one research being done here. There it is, it's the plus one dot here by Vinchester. You do have to feel for this guy, even though he's going to be trying to raid, I really don't see much of a opportunity. Well, if Yo actually places a TC here, then this could be a very nice spot here for Vinchester to try to snipe a couple of villagers. Of course, that stone there might eventually be a problem here for uh, Mr. Yo. And you can see where Vinchester is trying to place a TC here. He needs to realize that he can't just send villagers there without protection. I think he just realized it. Yeah, he canceled that TC. He's going to go for one here. And he's going to go for another one where? Here at the wood line seems fair. Seems good. And uh, he just spotted he was able to acknowledge that Mr. Yo is going to be going for nine. So he's uh, doing now the right thing, in my opinion. He's going to go for a monastery. And that's, in my opinion, the best way to defend against knights, especially in early Castle Age. Just have a monk ready and try to get a couple of conversions. Would be surprised if he wasn't able to uh, snipe this knight. There he is. One knight just dies without any reaction from Mr. Yo. Mr. Yo has got the plus one armor now. He's got a monk. And once more, I think this is the right thing to do if you're going for knights too. You want to have a monk just to make sure that it can heal your knights. Of course, Mr. Yo won't be using that monk to try to convert an archer. It's really not worth it, but he needs it to get relics. Looks like that's what he's going to go for. He's going to be trying to get this relic, and he needs it to heal the knights. 
Two TCs up here for Vinchester, the third one on the way. What about Mr. Yo? Three TCs already up. A little bit faster, Mr. Yo was there, and therefore he's got the villager lead. It's only a fine villager lead, so not a huge deal. And I think Vinchester doesn't really need to be afraid of these knights. He's got enough archers, they are plus two. This is only plus one armor, so he definitely does not need to fear those knights. He's uh, gonna engage them. He's doing the same thing Yo is, he's trying to collect the relics. He's got a monk ready, of course, if he cannot convert any knights, then might as well use it to take the relics. Nice job here, both players doing exactly what they need to do. They both seem to be taking it easy for this final, and I can't blame them for that, right? You just can't blame them for that. There's a lot at stake, the stakes are very high. The first prize it's one thousand dollars. Second prize is gonna be six hundred dollars. Of course, still a lot of money, but it's a huge difference. Everybody, and it's not just about the money. Of course, it's it's about the honor. It's about the distinction of winning such a big tournament. Three TCs for Mr. Yale. Three TCs for Winchester. Looks like Winchester just got housed once more, and looks like that villager lead is just gonna be increasing a little bit more here for Mr. Yo. Both players, of course, they want to try to invest uh, to boom very well and very much in order to get to Imperial Age with enough economy to make those incredibly, ridiculously powerful Mangyadai that just pretty much meld everything that comes into their way. At this time, it's Mr. Yo still with only plus one. Apparently, he might be trying to prepare an aggressive play here. We can see a siege workshop being placed here. The front side of his town. I'm not sure if Winchester was able to see it. No, he could not see it. I guess he would be expecting it at some time. So Mr. Yo might not just be playing for the boom here. He might actually try to invest into heavy knights when he feels like he's got enough economy. One mangonel is on the way. Winchester actually needs to spot this on time. He needs to realize that Mr. Yo might be able to push. He might decide to push. And he, if he does decide to push, that could be really, really bad for Winchester. He's got one gold here, but as you can see, there's only two tiles left. So he needs to start taking control of that gold here as soon as possible. I don't think I don't see his third one okay the third one is here so it's outside his walls too so he needs to start taking control of this gold as soon as possible or that might be really really bad for him because I'm assuming that Mr. Yo has read the situation very very well and he will be camping this hill as soon as possible plus two on the way so this could be a very interesting fight here the camels are coming here from Benchester Benchester no ballistics so he's not able to actually hit every single shot on those knights there's a manganel on the way here he needs to pay attention to this he suffers one hit he's not watching this so the Second shot could be much worse. Only one goes down. That was not too bad. He needs to make sure the monks stay alive. And there it is. One of the knights gets converted. He's going to use that knight to take down the manganel. This is a good job with that. There it is. He lost only one crossbow. He lost a camel. But that's about it. With that converted knight, he was able to actually get rid of that manganel. Needs to be watching this once more. There's a manganel on the way. Uh, that means the knight is going to die once more. But he converted another knight. He's going to be trying to use it to snipe down the manganel for Mr. Yo. Does a very nice job at that. And once more, using Yo's units for his advantage. This is why monks are so good and so important, guys. Fourth TC is on and up here for Mr. Yo. And you can see the villager lead is going in his favor once more. It's 77 against 68. Uh, 10 to 9 villager advantage. Is this going to be a castle? Oh boy, I would be so much happier if this was a castle. What uh, Does he have the stone? No, of course he does not have the stone. I don't blame him for that. You don't want to waste villager time on stone because stone doesn't really uh, bring your economy forward, right? But I, he, he does need some heavy protection on that hill. Uh, he's got to be... He's got to acknowledge the situation that this hill is going to play a huge role into the game. So he needs to take control of it as soon as possible. One, two, three. As we said, that was the fourth TC. And this is going to be the fourth TC for Winchester too. No, it's even going to be the fifth one. One, two, three, four. Yeah, it's going to be the fifth one. It's going to be the fifth TC. Hmm, I'm not so sure about that. Uh, five TCs seems to me like a little bit like an overkill. But anyway, let's see how will that play out for him. I understand that you need a very big economy when you're playing as Mongols, but um, just in general, 5TC uh, seems like an overkill to me. Uh, that's something that you maybe need if you're going for war elephants when playing a team game or something like that. And then 1v1, if you're not really far behind in economy, uh, I think it's an overkill to go for 5TC. So let me see what is Mr. Yo going to go for here. Yeah, this is uh, what the problem is. Mr. Yo is going to make a market. He will, will be able to go up to Imperial Age. He's going to prepare his first castle here. He's going to be 
at the pretty much perfect spot here on the hill. And uh, by going five TCs, uh, Vinchester will delay his. Um, well, the, yeah, I, I'm not dreaming. It's really five TCs. Vinchester is going to delay his imperial time too much, in my opinion. I I, I fear for him. I fear for this fifth TC, uh, Vinchester. Mr. Yu now seems to have enough units to take care of business here. Uh, he's definitely going to try to win a little bit of time, or yeah, no, he's not going to be trying. He's not going to be trying to engage into this fight. There's just no reason to do it. He once the castle is ready, there's nothing that Vinchester can do from that side. So there's really absolutely no reason to engage there. And uh, there was once a very wise man, if I'm not mistaken, it was Neil Preferred who told me. Uh, there's only two reasons where you should engage in a fight. First of all is if you're absolutely and 1000% sure you're gonna win the fight. Second is if you really need to take control of a space, of a, of a zone in the map. Those are the only reasons you should be fighting for. I would like to add a third one in fact and that would be if you want to buy yourself time to finish something. So uh, just imagine if Yo was trying to build that castle and he wanted to win a little bit of time even though he knew he was going to lose that fight. I think it would be worth it to engage in order to get the castle ready and then just move back with the army. The castle going up here for uh, Winchester, I think it's a good spot. Uh, once more, I would have preferred to see it a little bit closer to that gold, I gotta be honest with you. Uh, but still there, it's not a bad, it's not a bad spot, of course, it's gonna protect the stone too. I just would have hoped to see it a little bit closer to the gold. Anyway, Mr. Yo, there's not really much that he can do with these knights. I mean, he's gonna be trying to go in from here, but there's just not a chance he can do that. Vinchester was very proactive. He's had a couple of uh, walls placed down. He's got a lot of crossbowmen at this point. He's got a couple of camels, and those aren't enough to keep Mr. Yo away. Ooh, I'm not sure he realizes this, but uh, there's no mining camp here, so these guys are going to be walking like crazy in order to get the gold back to the DC. Uh, Vinchester definitely did not realize this. Imperial Age is reached now by Mr. Yo, and this is why it's so important to be to be up fast to Imperial Age. He's going to just start trebbing down the castles of uh, Vinchester. He's got a couple of elite mango die. I mean, it's not elite, but they're just about to get elite, and that means with a fourth, uh, four TCs are still able to afford elite mango you die and uh, that's once more where uh, I really think that a 5th TC was not extremely was not absolutely necessary here by Vinchester anyway this fight is gonna go absolutely in his favor and but once more I, I don't think Mr. Yo is gonna be too bothered about this he's gonna have the elite Mangya die uh, does he have the plus three no he does not have the plus three he can afford it though so he'll be doing that anytime soon you can definitely afford that. He's gonna do conscription. Yeah, he's got already a very, a very decent amount of mangu die. I don't see where they are, but he just released them, and I think he's gonna go here, try to raid. Yep, and this is gonna be hard. This is gonna be really hard. Th uh, plus three on the way. Uh, plus four on the way too. Vinchester finally saw this, so I think he. Uh, well, now he. It's, it's too late. Actually, do something about that gold. He's gonna lost it for now. This gold is gonna uh, be out of his control for now. Of course, uh, there's still this gold right here that he might be using, but he's gonna struggle to take care of those uh, trebuchets on the right uh, side he's just about to reach imperial age and i think mr yo was not targeting any of the castles so he probably doesn't know where the castles are he was able to see this castle right here but mr yo yeah i would have gone for a castles to be honest instead of for the tc uh, but apparently mr yo didn't th uh, s uh, think the same now this castle yo i'm not sure what you were thinking with that man what, what, what what's that castle for I'm really not sure. This, yeah, you can see that goal. I don't know if that was the reason, but this castle just seems so random. It's so out of place. I'm uh, really not sure what it was doing there. Of course, Vinchester just denies it, and that's Mr. Yo needing to go back a little bit more. TC is down, and uh, what is Mr. Yo doing here? He's just concentrating on uh, Elite Mingyu Dai for the time being. He's upgrading those ramps, going to make them siege a ramps at some point. And, um, yeah, it, it's uh, another thing that I'm not sure about. Of course, everybody knows that uh, Mongols, especially those elite Mangu Dai, have got such a superior, such a nice attack bonus against siege units that I feel like he should actually be trying to use ranged siege units. And that means pretty much trebuchets. But, of course, I understand that first he wants to get uh, get out those uh, Mangu Dai, have enough Mangu Dai to fight anything that Vinchester might be throwing at him. Anyway, 
Both players in Imperial Age. Let's take a look at the military numbers. Seems to be Winchester, the one leading. Of course, many of those units are still these crossbows. And the ones that really matter at this point are the Mengudai. It's a one-on-one -on -one trebuchet war here. And Winchester might as well win it. He's got two castles. He's got a second trebuchet on the way. There is no way Mr. Yo can actually kill this trebuchet. I don't know if that was the plan. But he will need to go back with those at the same point. Well, might as well try to get a couple of Mengudai down, of course. I would assume the Mengudai are going to win this fight. Their firepower is just much more powerful. There you go. They just melt away everything. But anyway, he's going to get a couple of nice kills. Here's a nice shot here by Winchester. There was really not any use to those crossbows. So they might as well get a couple of those Meng uh, those Meng Mengudai's killed. And uh, Mr. Yo with Siege Ram already. Uh, incredible. He's on the way to finishing Hussar as well. He's going to be pushing here for the left side. And Winchester still seems to be very concentrated here on the right side. Well, good thing is, uh, apparently he just took down a castle of Yo. That's always a very good thing. But he will need to focus his attention here to the uh, left side. And I don't think he can be there on time. Or maybe he can actually be there on time with those elite men you die. At this point, he might as well have enough. No, it's uh, 30 It's thirty military units here for Yo. He's just got so many more than Winchester. I think this uh, TC is doomed, and th uh, so are those villagers too. And yeah, Mr. Yo, how, well, he's got already Hussar, man. He's got Hussar already. Do keep in mind, Hussar, this Mongol Hussar do not have that plus four, but they have extra HP, so it sort of uh, ends up balancing itself. Anyway, this fight is going to go in favor of Mr. Yo, in my opinion. He's got the top of the hill. He's got uh, Ram there. Yeah, Winchester knows this, of course. He's going to go back. No. Uh, apparently he's gonna wait for a couple of reinforcements here and the Hussar is not gonna come into play as long as uh, Winchester keeps the top of the hill for himself he won't be too troubled I'm not sure about this fight though he does have the top of the hill but Mr. Yu is bringing a lot more units to the fight and uh, Winchester definitely needs to back off with those elite Mangudai he just does not seem to have enough units uh, Winchester you need to go back with those you're gonna lose at some point in my opinion uh, well, no, he wants to keep on fighting there. He uh, feels very strongly about this. He wants to keep the top of the hill, but he's uh, uh, eventually going to lose that, in my opinion. There it is. Yeah, it's uh, left uh, only three Mangudai. I really have to wonder, did he really have to fight that? Once more, let's recall Nilpfert's words. Uh, there was absolutely no reason to fight there. He couldn't have been sure that he was going to win that fight. He didn't need to defend that zone for anything whatsoever. And now it's Mr. Yo that is going to be trying to push here from the left side. He's going to bring more rams. And Winchester does, does not seem to have enough units uh, to actually fight this off. On the bright side for Winchester, he's got three castles as opposed to Mr. Yo. Well, who has just finished a third castle. So they're equal on castles now. And Mr. Yo has definitely got the army advantage here. Uh, so things are not looking very well here for Winchester. Let's try to understand what he will try to do. On the bright side, he's got the control of that hill. That was a very important spot for him. He wants to have the gold secure, of course. Uh, let's switch really fast into Yo's point of view. He's not doing any more villagers. He feels like he's got enough economy. Uh, but this is just very hard. Mr. Yo is inside Winchester's base. In and uh, there's not really much that uh, Winchester can do at this point. He's fighting down the hill once more and uh, Mr. Yo with uh, the incredibly powerful Mangudai he's got a couple of Hussar too he doesn't even need many Mangudai at this point he's bringing more and I'm assuming that at some point he's going to take control of that gold too he's going to put a castle somewhere around there he's going to go for this side once more so apparently he just wants to surround Venturester make sure he cannot go anywhere with his villagers is the castle going to go up here uh, that's what he was trying to do at Castle. No, he's just gonna take, he's just gonna steal that gold here. And why not? He does have the advantage. And not surprisingly, the GG is gonna be called. Mr. Yu is gonna take the fifth game as well, making this to a 4-1. And um, I, I, I think it pretty much uh, comes down to that uh, fact that Winchester went for fifth, uh, fifth TC. And by doing that, it's true that whenever he comes to uh, Imperial Age, he will have a very strong economy. Uh, but the problem is that he will be late. He will be very, very late to Imperial Age. And uh, keeping that in mind, of course, Yo felt like he had enough economy with just four TCs to do Hussar, uh, do the Elite Mangudai upgrade, upgrade it fully. You can see he's got blow lines, glad plus four. He's got... Uh, uh, he's got plus 4 armor too, so seems like uh, it was a bit of an overkill here going for 5 TCs in my opinion. Taking a look at the economy, 
Uh, let's take a look at the economy upgrades here. Still, uh, it's still Mr. Yo after all. That's got all of the resources that he wanted. It's got more food. Doesn't have more wood, but uh, he had enough, of course. More stone, more gold. Of course, largest army. Not surprisingly. And the military stats just definitely in his favor. Let's go back, uh, boys. I'm gonna fix the score, and apparently players want to go for a break.